Good morning, everyone. As I woke up this morning and before my thoughts could move forward and trying to see what's happening in the world around us, I just had to pull myself back and pray the Lord's Prayer we started this year with and uh, just applying it to this context of what's happening around us. And I found that it, it deeply encouraged me. And I think as Christians, the best thing we can do in these moments is to stay in God's presence and, and let that intimacy grow. And I want to lead us in, in praying the Lord's Prayer together. And you can keep your eyes open or closed and join together with me in this prayer. Our Father, we come into your presence this morning knowing that we have you as our Father whom we can come running into anytime. And since you we're willing to even let your son Jesus die on the cross and for our sake, because of which we can call you our Father. We know and trust that what is happening around us is not a greater evil than that, and you are in control of the situation. And you are a Father who is seated in heaven, so you know all things, God. You are, you are seeing what is happening around us, though we don't see why this is happening, and we don't see or know how this is going to end, but we know and trust that you do, and you are our Father, and we want to thank you for that. And we know also that you are a holy God, a God who does not tolerate sin, and you have acted that in history, as individuals, as nations, whenever we walked away from you, you allowed difficult experiences so you can draw us back to yourself. So this morning I want to think about your holiness, God. And as we pray, I pray that you remind us of who you are in a very special way that we can connect to. And I just want to connect with your holiness this morning, God. I pray for your kingdom to come, even as the world has shut down. Um, countries have shut down. But your kingdom is alive and growing. Those who have embraced you as their king in their hearts, who form part of your kingdom, they're still alive. And we pray that in these times, especially, your kingdom can grow even more as you draw more people towards yourself. And I pray, God, for your will to be done. Though our desire is for this to end quickly and end soon, we know that you, your will is different than our will because you are trying to accomplish far bigger and far deeper things beyond our ability to see or understand. So we want to surrender this entire situation to you and we want your patience. Give us your patience so your will can be done, even in this time. And I pray, God, that you will continue to give us our daily bread, not just us, but for all the people in this world, because you're a gracious God. I pray especially for those who uh, have lost jobs and have no way to feed themselves. I pray that you will use us individually and as your children as a church to step up in these times to be generous with our money and our time and our efforts to go and feed others knowing that you are feeding us each day and help us not to be greedy but to trust that you will not let us without food as your children and I pray God that in these moments you will forgive us for our sins, things that are in my heart, in all our hearts, that are not pleasing before you. We are truly sorry, God, that many times we have let our self-love overtake our love for you or our love for others. Many times we've let our pride and arrogance prevent us from asking sorry or offering forgiveness to those who do. We know that we need your forgiveness each day, God, and you forgive us and 
help us to forgive others too. And if there are things in our people who have, we have not forgiven, enable us to do that today. And I pray, God, that you will not lead us uh, into this difficult time beyond our abilities because you have said that you will not test us beyond our strengths. And for several nations, several families, several individuals, this appears like it is nearing our wit's end, but it may just be the beginning. So I just pray that you give us strength and patience to experience this and know that you will never allow this to go beyond the point that which we can take. And we pray God for delivering us from this big evil that has crippled all of our lives, God. And we know it is because of fallenness, it is what is happening around us and this virus is taken over the world, but we know you're a greater God. You have overcome evil and you have even overcome death on the cross. So I pray that you will deliver us from this evil right now and that it will not have the better of us, but even through this evil, that we may all come towards you and experience your presence, God, and see your kingdom grow more in our own hearts, see you draw more glory, see your power work in making us more like you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.